And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, Dale. it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Come on, let's go. And it's not, it's crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the Biden Harris speech, the acceptance speech, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but Har- uh, uh, Harris actually had a line. Uh, yes, that's what I mean, too. That's yeah, what I mean immediately. Too. I already know what you're going to say. And it said, and to the children of our country, regardless of your gender, our oh, country yeah. has sent you a clear message. Yeah. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in the way that others may not, simply mm-hmm. because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you every step of the way. Yo, that's the only Ooh, part of the speech cool I remember. Oh, that's the ready. only part that I remember too. Because that's the mm-hmm. part that's gonna stick out. Like y'all already. I was like, wait, what? They already mm-hmm. putting the drops in. Yo, and your man said he. That's what he gonna Bro. do in the first hundred days too. What yep. is he gonna do in a hundred days? He said. He said that the the number one priority for them is the LGBT community. Interesting. There's going to be so much fascist laws. We're not allowed. We're if you don't con, if, if you don't ride that wave, you're going to be cons, or you just you're the, just you're not the on minority. that side, bruh. And, and, and they are the minority by a long shot. Like right. that's a very small part of the, the community of the population. But you're not going to be able to allow it's like to less than five percent or something. Right. We're not going to be allowed to have an opinion. We're not going to be allowed to disagree. Not so much to disagree. They're going to deplatform people, which I've seen already. It's mm-hmm. happening gonna, already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just for having your own opinion. People going to be losing yep. their jobs. You, yo, losing you're not jobs. Be, yeah. Just and, and anything and everything is going to be called hate speech. And guess where they coming? Guess what? Guess what they coming for? That's what the end game is. They coming for us. They coming for that Bible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. They coming for yeah. us right here. Yeah. Okay. Right yeah, here. The word. Yes, sir. The mm-hmm. church. They coming for that church. You know, and I'm gonna tell you, that's not Christian. <laughs> that's so dope, man. That's so dope. That's so dope. That's so that's not Christian. That's so now, dope. Now speaking yeah. about the Bible, right? Yeah. Um, so now with these these um with this allege that Biden is supposed to win, we've mm. had a lot of prophets say that Trump is gonna win and Trump uh, will win. Oh, and the Lord what, told yeah. them. Wait, 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 your wait, your segue game is yeah. on point. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so listen, I've been like professionally media trained. Like, I'm no lie, like acting classes, all of that. Your segue game is on point. <laughs> boy, that was a Steph Curry shot right there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I've heard a little bit of that. I, I saw a couple like KB, somebody had posted on it and they had, you know, some funny um, perspective on it. <sighs> How about I mean, your man Kenneth Copeland though? Yo, he, uh, was, he was laughing. laughing. You saw that? Yo. Oh, no, did I didn't see that. that? that I didn't, I didn't see it? Oh, no. we gotta send you that. We'll send you that video, man. Oh, he he oh, just oh, went into oh, it like he was laughing like, hysteria. He they said like, Biden won. Ha ha ha! Nah, hey, you know but, he got that creepy look and that laugh. You know how when he was talking about COVID yeah, last time, he did it for like two ha, minutes though. Ha, oh, that's a dude. The COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Be gone. He gone. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, yo, that, was, that was scary, yeah. And that's crazy because he said that and he still got people that are watching and listening to this dude. Like, dude, yeah. did y'all well, not see, hear it, what it he works, said at that time? Mm-hmm. Huh? I saw a, a, somebody had posted something in the story and I repost, I think it was Bizzle. And it said, um, if I if I'm not, if I don't vote Republican, I'm not Christian enough. If I don't po- re- vote Democrat, I'm not um Black enough or something. I think that's what it said. And he said, miss me with that. You know, it, it was kind of the, the idea yeah, of it was, yeah. you know, miss me with that rhetoric. Like, you yeah, know, don't, yeah. you don't get to tell me. So like what you're saying with Kendall Copeland, like that is crazy as that sounds, the people are still going to follow that, you know, right. and, then it, and that's, that's a church and it almost has, you have to ask, what are they following him or the right. word? Right. You know, right. and I'm not criticizing Kendall Copeland, but I mean, you still got to ask that question. And we are. Right. Yeah. You should. Right. <laughs> right. You should right. Ask that's not Christian. Exactly. Exactly. Hey. Listen, and listen, I'm I'm not and I'm not gonna say that the prophets that are saying this because we don't know, right? We're still we not don't we don't know it, it might be over. They might, they might by be the right. Still got time. They, they still you know got what I mean? We don't know until really inauguration day when we like, all right, come January. But we'll it's know. just like like 
I don't know, man. It's just like you said, there's something that's off, man. There's something that's not there. And it's scary mm-hmm. for me, mm-hmm. at least, because mm-hmm. it's like, yo, these people have churches. These people have congregations. And I get it. You know, they might have a yeah. passion for the Lord. But it's like, at what point do we say, homie, you need to stop. You need to sit down because you've been spitting this for a long time. Because they, they don't have somebody true. to hold them accountable. They got yes, man. Yeah, I mean, it's a exactly. possibility. You know, I'm not saying that that's the case, but you never know. Yeah. You know, but it also means it also seems like a lot of the church um, sort of has an idolatry problem when it comes to Trump. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. you can argue, you know, that he can be more uh, Christian, quote unquote, than you know, past yeah. presidents or whatever, or maybe have more religious freedom. But like right. the way that it seems that they worship the man is 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 scary yeah that, that that's nuts yeah like i had a friend of mine ask me who's she is very very much on the left and she asked me how could you how she how did she put it how could you not compromise i know where uh, you're going i know where you're the, going. yeah your your christianity with donald trump i can't remember the exact words she used like his character pretty much right how could well, you just, follow you, someone with a character like that who doesn't represent Jesus, how yeah, Jesus, but, but a, yeah, but associate your Christianity with him, basically. You know, I, I can't mm. think of the words she used. And I looked at her, I said, I don't. Mm. She said, What do you mean? I said, He has nothing to do with my relationship with Jesus, he has nothing right. to do with that. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter what he does, my relationship with God is going to be what it is, regardless of what he does and says. You know what I'm saying? And right. it's, you know, she said, Oh, I said, again, people don't have the ability to understand and accept other people's ideas and ideologies and if we could do that we could be able to disagree without it being called hate right mm-hmm. right like or yeah, hate like, speech like my marriage with my wife and switch mm-hmm. marriage how he handles his marriage you know what i'm saying it could be totally different <laughs> it, it but it don't be. change my view on marriage right man bro that's good Bars. <laughs> Bars. <Shut up>. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Yo, and you know, you know, it's another thing. It's almost um I hear a lot, oh, uh, you know, the left is what's gonna bring the persecution on the church, right? And and you and you just kind of mentioned it as well. But it's also like, oh, are, are we afraid of that? Or are we like, are we not ready for that? You know what I'm saying? Is it like, are we trying to stop the persecution? Or right. do we or do we finally accept it like, yo, you know what? This world don't don't love Jesus. You know what I mean? Like they it, it's going to come. He said it, it might too. come. It's, it's going to come. And it might. And, and it's it's going to come. If so are we just trying Bible. to delay it or are we just mm-hmm. or are we are we saying, yo, we're not prepared for when it comes. Mm-hmm. Here's what we're doing. We're taking the steering wheel when we don't our hands don't belong on it. Number one, mm. that Bible tells us what's going to happen. And I stopped. Like in 2016, with the shootings and all that, and the, and the Black Lives Matter and all of that start blowing up, and I got in my feelings about it. But then I started thinking, and then I had a like an, another spiritual awakening. I had a few actually, but I had a spiritual awakening in 2016, and it kind of made me rethink how I felt about police brutality and, and my anger towards it and all of that. Right. Right. But the more I started studying the Bible, like for real, for real, studying the Bible, it, it said to me that what's happening. We were already told it's going to happen. Mm. So if we trust God, the believers, if we trust God, then we should trust that what's happening is going to happen. And what's, you know, the, the word has already been foretold. Right. It's our job to play our part and have faith that we're going to be OK, even if it doesn't mean our our earth suits right, right, aren't going right. to be OK, because right. this is temporary. You know, this is temporary. This isn't who we are. It's what we are. Who we are is our mind, but you know, is our spirit and our soul. So that lives forever. So I'm not so much worried anymore about what's going to happen as well with you know with, with Trump and the prophecies and and all of that, because or, or you know or or the left attacking the church because they're going to attack the church. There's going to be a great falling away from the church, and it's going to be like the days of Noah. You know, we know what it says. You know, mm-hmm. and look at it. It's already happening. The rhetoric. Is the propaganda is being implanted into the minds of the youth into thinking that to be Christian is bad because it goes against the freedoms of love being love and it promotes hate that, and all that. That it promotes yeah. hate. Yeah. And the whole statement of love is love is so divisive. Like 
what people don't realize, and I'm not against the idea of that at all, but what people don't realize, bro, like being a lyricist is like you, you, when you understand how to put words together to send certain messages, you understand when you see that being done. And even the saying Black Lives Matter, it's such a divisive statement that on the surface, if you if you, your wavelength isn't high enough, you don't see that 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 statement alone is is how do I put it? It's not meant to uplift anything. It's true. It's it's a true statement. Black lives yeah. do matter, right? It's true. But that's mm-hmm. the ceiling is low on that. Now above that ceiling is the divisiveness and the manipulation of that statement because whoever created it knew and they they worked hard on creating a statement putting that was quick put three words together that targeted a certain demographic that they knew people were going to respond to and emotionally respond to that is an open ended statement if it mm-hmm. was if it was to say black lives matter also no argument you can't argue what that means right. but and black it- lives matter you can argue what that means and that's where people are getting twisted and manipulated and it's by it's on purpose it's true what you say about love is love as well. And I always say this, you know, when Paul speaks about the destruction that's to come, right? Mm-hmm. He says, they're going to be saying his peace. <laughs> There's going to be saying his peace all Man. over the world. And, 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 and it's not the kind of peace that God gives, you know what I mean? And then he says, suddenly mm-hmm. that's when the destruction is going to come on the world, you know, the earth and, you know, the Lord's going to come back. And I feel like that's what it is. It's like this false idea of peace, oh my God. This false idea of love this you know people are goes. they'll accept the lie they're, they're accepting a the lie I, I was working with at a middle school and it was a young girl and we were talking and her and i were kind of bonding she the situation is she was a young girl she was 14 uh, 14 years old she's seventh grader she's a model beautiful young girl getting picked on by the boys they liked her and they didn't understand how to talk to her so they would they were inappropriate so i literally had to protect her and like sit her in front of me and have conversations with her so She's, you know, one of the, I don't know if you call it millennial being 14, but anyway, she has that mindset. So one day over the course of a couple of months after, you know, her realizing she can trust me. So she asked me, what do you, how do you feel about sexism? I said, what? And she said, how do you feel about sexism? I said, uh, it's bad. And she goes, good boy. Good job. Like, good I, like there's a possibility that I was going to say it was wrong, but then I got her. I said, sweetheart, you know, sexism does not only apply to women. Right. And she didn't know what to say. She's like, wait, what? Wait, what? No, that does not compute because I was programmed that sexism <laughs> only affects women. Danger, Mr. Robinson. It. Danger. Right. You see, right. So what you were saying, the, the lie, people will accept the lie and make it become the truth. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go too far into the, you know, whole gender analysis and all of that stuff, but you get what right. I'm saying? Yeah. You know, science proves one thing, but ideology suggests another. Right. And the way I see it, you know, if someone feels like they're a gender outside of male and female, cool. I don't agree, but hey, it's all good. I'm gonna if you know, if you're on fire, guess what I'm gonna do? Put you out. If somebody <laughs> had a gun to you, guess what I'm gonna do? Jump in front of the bullet, regardless mm-hmm. of what you think your gender is. I'm still gonna try to help you save you. You in the water, I'm gonna jump in to save you. And I can't swim. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop and say, hey, wait, what's your gender? Do you see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. What, what, what matters at the end of the day? Humanity and our relationship with, with our creator, not our earthly ID, identity politics.